Welcome. So in this tutorial, I will be creating a simple letterhead like this one you are seeing on my screen here. Okay. So you create your rectangle. I'm using the, the I'm using a dimension of 8.5 by 11.0 inches. I've added a bleed of 0 0.25, 0 0.25. There you can see it. That it's not 8.7 and 11.25. You create your rectangle like this by using this create rectangles and square two. And after that, you want to duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D. Then the duplicate, you reduce the size of the duplicate. You reduce it something like this. Then you press Shift with the base shape. You go to your align and distribute. I opened mine down already. Align and distribute is over here. You also open your fill and stroke down. Line and distribute. Make sure last selected because we selected the, the base image, the base shape lastly. So you center it on vertical and you center it on horizontal or your uh, the horizontal axis. Okay. Then this I want to Change the stroke style. I want to make it a little bit um, bigger. Stroke paint. I want to change the stroke paint. I want to make the stroke paint this. I'm just simply going to unfill or set the, the fill to white. I haven't done that. I'm going to import my logo. If you don't, mine is here. I'm just showing you how to do it. You import your logos. You go to your directory and bring it to Inkscape. So for mine, it's here already. So I'm just simply going to pick it from here. Somewhere around here, bring it to the top, bring it to the top. Yes, I'm going to ungroup that because I need specifically this. I'm going to press Ctrl D for that, bring it here, and group it back. It's not really necessary for you to group it back. I like grouping when I'm. This you click it, you make it bigger, you hold down the control key and you click the left click, you make it bigger. Okay. Control D to duplicate. Take the duplicate to the side. Control. use it like that so you select everything align and distribute you go to your align and distribute you make it's too big guys so we have to let's select everything to reduce the size put down your control key Sorry, I'm finding it, I'm in, finding it difficult to find. Yes. Now, you control G to group that. You can make it a little 
little bit. Yes, you can. Now, Ctrl D to copy. Uh, Ctrl D to duplicate. Duplicate it twice. Ctrl D to duplicate again. Take it to the base. Yes, then you select you select everything. You make the vertical gaps between the objects equal. Yes. Then you control G to group. You reduce it. I think it's too big. I'm just going to reduce it. I think it's okay like this. Then I shift click on the base image to center it on vertical axis. Okay. I think it's still too big. Just a little. A little. Okay. Shift click again. Then, okay, I want to, I want to reduce the opacity, something like this, a little bit, I think it's okay like this. And I want to add a kind of rod, small rectangle, to add a little bit of design to it. I think it's, it's too thick. I like it to be thinner, something like this. Make it this color. Control Z to duplicate. Bring it down. Actually, I don't want to use the mouse to take it down. I might end up dragging it. And I'm taking it down like this. is okay so I would like to add my other details which is the website the website I'm simply going to click this and send it down, down, yes. Okay. I think this, I think the spaces in between this is pretty the same thing. But if you are not sure, you could come over here to make horizontal gaps between objects equal. It's not the same thing. I want to move it down a bit. I want to move it down. I think it's. Move it down. I'll click this, shift click this. I want to make sure. I want to make sure it's at the center. Yes, now it is at the center. And I will also click this. I want it. I want to bring it a little bit down, down. Yes. If you wish, you could add other things you wish, but I. I think basically these are the most important things. You can see quite the same thing. If you want to export, you just come here, yeah, export this document as you you write the name for this. I've
setting the name already red i have tutorial png then you click export thank you guys for watching